food storage is no joke, and when your job is to create content about food, sometimes it explodes all over your office and it looks like this. Whether it's food or paperwork, clearing the clutter is always the solution. So let's turn this overflowing office into a seamless, stress-free space. <laughs> this is Cube Takeover. My name is Cameron Curtis, and I'm the Snapchat Discover Editor-in-Chief uh, for Food Network at Scripps. The thing I hate most about my workspace is that it's basically a grocery store. I get deliveries all day, every day, and it ends up all over my desk. How many salad dressings can one person have? I mean, really. I mean, really. <laughs> like, God. My favorite hobby, other than eating, is traveling. Whenever I can get away and experience a new place or new food or new restaurant, um, that's super important to me. Cameron loves travel and jewel tones, and she wants to work in a space that reminds her of her favorite locations like Turkey and Morocco. So we definitely have a challenge cut out for us. However, while we're giving this space a flea market, foodie, travel theme makeover, you think about all the tips and tricks that we're giving you and how you can work them into your office or your home. Let's get started. Whoa. Cameron was not kidding when she said she had a mini grocery store situation going on in her cube. So we've removed everything except for the food and extensive alcohol. We're gonna see how much we have of each item so we can put it in the right storage system. I recommend this for closets, for pantries, or for craft rooms. In any pantry or kitchen, a cart with smaller containers inside provides specific spaces for specific items. Canisters, bins, and magnetic tins make the most out of a small storage cart. Label your containers so you know what goes where and make sure you include expiration dates and throw out what you can no longer eat. Create a travel theme by bringing in a vintage suitcase and art that speaks to wanderlust. Bring in touches from around the world in patterns and textiles like Moroccan wedding pillows, Turkish placemats, and woven baskets. Display travel souvenirs in a vintage or rustic crate. To take the travel theme to the next level, I'm taking a printed scarf that has pom-poms on it already and creating a tinted look with clips. I handmade a tassel garland and peppered them around the space. I hand printed a rug to look like tiger skin. Magazine holders make for great under desk storage. To take the travel theme to a really personal place, I took one of Cameron's favorite honeymoon photos and I added it to the top of a Cuban cigar box with Mod Podge. We took this messy, cluttered situation into a travel flea market foodie vibe. Okay. We're just walking you. Okay. Walking you to to right. <laughs> Ready? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. So funny because we were talking, I was like, I wonder if we could do like a tent situation and make it feel like that. So this totally has that feel and all the fabric and everything. I love these vintage suitcases. Yay. I used some at my wedding, so it's like totally like my style oh, and my perfect. jam. Perfect. This is this is like so unbelievable. This is like way more than I was expecting. Thank you. I love it. <laughs>